All right, Metalheads, this is DJ Rem from Metalhead Radio, and I have the band Nuclear Salvation on the line. What's going on, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we have uh, rehearsing today, some new songs. And drinking some beer. That sounds rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Playing a little music, drinking lots of beer, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the usual stuff. That's all you need. <laughs> okay, so let's start with... Um, Go ahead and go around the room and introduce everyone, please. Okay, let's start from the left here. Uh, my name is Andreas Riesbeck and I'm the drummer. And I have been in Nuclear Salvation since uh, March 2011. So I'm a pretty new guy, but uh, the band is not so old yet. <laughs> yeah, and uh, this is Marcus. From uh, the band, of course, uh, I play the uh, lead guitar and uh, also founder of the band. Yeah, and I'm Daniel, I play rhythm guitar and I'm also founder of the band. And I'm, my, 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 my name is Benjamin and I'm the singer. Yes, that's all. All right, <laughs> okay. All right, I, I lost count there, so. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we don't speak English every day. That's why we got some uh, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's all good. I can, uh, I've, I've, t- I've been talking to so many bands from around the world, all over the place, that I- I've gotten pretty good at deciphering through accents and everything. So, it's all cool. Then you, then you understand uh, it is uh, Svengelska. <laughs> we call it Sweden. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you guys are all yeah. in, Su- you're in Sweden, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, well... My great grandfather came from Sweden. Oh, cool. okay. Which town? Do you know that? Oh, if only I knew that. My mom probably does. I don't know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you the last name, and then then it'll make Gustafsson is my Gustafsson. Gustafsson. Yeah. 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 Okay. Come yeah. on. Uh, okay. That's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. So. So go ahead and tell me what's going on with you guys right now. What's what's in the works? Yeah, we we'll, uh, we're working with uh, new material uh, for the second uh, full-length album. So um, we have been uh, rehearsing uh, for a couple of weeks uh, some uh, new songs. Uh, we got about uh, eight songs ready right now, but we got uh, a few more to go. Yes. And we are rehearsing for the upcoming shows as well. So how often do you guys practice then together? We practice uh, a lot uh, on our own in the weeks. Um, And uh, we uh, uh, almost play uh, all together on uh, Saturdays. uh, Five, six hours every week. Uh, That guy speaking now is Andreas, the drummer. And I have... uh, a second drums set at home, and I play there uh, a lot in the weeks too, as well. So you're practicing all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so what? Um, what? How did you guys? I know a couple of you guys when you went around the room. You you mentioned that you were the founders of the band. So, yes. How did what? What made you decide to to form the band? I guess in the first of all, and then the other members to get them in. Yeah, it's all started, um, as I told you, uh, Marcus, uh, I, we founded the band. Uh, uh, in the beginning, uh, the name wasn't uh, Nuclear Salvation. Uh, the band started as uh, Overcharged, uh, we called back in the days. And uh, it was a big struggle to get... Uh, all the members, it was always a singer missing in the picture. And um, then we got tired of it and uh, we got a couple of songs in the closet and uh, we thought we can uh, release an album anyway, you know, instead of uh, just waiting for members. So uh, we started to uh, record this stuff and uh, later... We uh, get in contact with. We get in contact with uh, Benjamin, our uh, singer, and uh, he 
uh, uh, Lena take over here? Yeah, he, and he, he, he did all the singing on the record. And then we found an Andreas and an ad on the internet, and he was playing trash metal drums, so he was perfect for our music. Very, so. very cool. What, yeah. um, so where did you get, how long did it take you to record the current album? How long was that process? A month. Yeah. A prob- yeah, a month. Just a month. Yeah. It's, yeah we, it's, it was recorded in, uh, we started in uh, late, late, late November and uh, was finished uh, approximately in January. In Christmas sometime. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. So, so it didn't take long. Nice. The album was released in, in the May. In the 31st of May. Yeah. 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 How many albums are how, how many albums? How many songs are on the album? I only have like three songs here, guys. Okay. Uh, we got uh, eight songs on that album. Uh, yeah. So that's my hint, hint. Somebody needs to send me more songs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, you can get a copy. Well, and here's here's why it's important though that I have the whole album in full because after I play the interview back, I'll uh, I always play the band's current album in in its entirety from beginning to end. So, okay, that that's, way that's quite fun. The album is called the beginning of the end. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, that works out perfect then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So what's the music scene like there where you guys live? What? What's the uh, the music scene? Is is there a lot going on with bands in, like in your area? <laughs> no, it's uh, it's uh, the music scene here where we live is uh, quite dead. You know, it's it's uh, we're the only real metal band around here where we live. Uh, it's a lot of you know rock music, that kind of punk. And rock music, but not the metal bands. So we're quite alone. <laughs> yeah. We are uh, pretty uh, spread out. Uh, I, uh, as a drummer, uh, come from a, a little more bigger town, but uh, it's not so very far from where the other guys in the bands live. Uh, but uh, overall, uh, the scene for metal overall is very very poorly around uh, here Uh, in Sweden you have to go to the bigger towns if you want a bigger stage for metal of course but uh, it lives (laughs) we can feel it it lives metal everywhere even if it's very small here (laughs) okay so if let's go around the room and if everybody can just kind of give like a little a little background on what got you into music and metal and all that stuff. What was yeah, your inspirations, I guess? Yes. yes. Uh, short, a long story to kind of short. Uh, I started to <laughs> listen to the metal at uh, the age of uh, probably nine or ten years old. And uh, the first very first trash album I bought was The Force with Onslaught in 1986 and I played, started to play drums after uh, my brother he started to play drums when he was 12 and I was 6 years or something and uh, that's the way it has been going on and on and I'm practicing every day and uh, the older I get the more funnier it gets and I like to improve all the time and I love trash metal into my heart <laughs> yeah, um, I um, kind of get into metal when I was uh, very young, about maybe six, seven or something. Um, it was uh, as usual, uh, Metallica was the first band, and uh, then I uh, developed my musical... What is it? Musical, musical uh, interest in uh, other bands and uh, Slayer is an uh, all-time favorite so that uh, influenced me very much I think and um, I also listened much to death metal and those kind of bands but uh, yeah it's a short story but <laughs> yes Lennart yeah yeah I, I, I 
think I started listening to music when I was maybe nine or ten, and I first got the Kiss Kiss record. And, and then my friend had a guitar, so he teached me some Kiss songs. And since then, I, I love playing guitar. So, and la later when I become a little older, I started to listen to uh, Slayer and Metallica and stuff like that. So, that was the band that got me into a bit a bit heavier music. Are we finished? Yes. Uh, I started listening to metal when I was 14 years old or something, and I started playing the guitar. But uh, now I'm singing in a trash metal band, but uh, I never listened to any trash music during my Jewish day. But I like more like progressive metal, like Evergrey and Symphony X and stuff like that. But... Uh, now I'm stuck with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah that, that's a horrible... You're, you're stuck, you get to, get to jam and drink beer. Rough. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Your alcohol collects people. <laughs> it, it, oh, doesn't it ever. <laughs> doesn't it ever. <laughs> okay, was that everybody? Did we miss anybody? Could, could you please repeat that? Uh, because uh, it, it break, broke down here. <laughs> yeah, it's the internet, you know. I said, did we miss anybody? <laughs> we don't understand what you mean. <laughs> Can you take that slow, please? Is there anybody left? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, that's <no, no>, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't be afraid. If you don't understand what I'm saying, be like, dude. <laughs> so uh, we get that. Just be one, one, one interesting thing uh, I think is worth to mention is that uh, our, if I say so, amazing drummer, he's only got uh, one and a half arm, and uh, you know uh, he, he developed his uh, own type of playing with his handicap, you know, and he, he plays amazing. You can hear it on the tracks, you know. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's all. I mean, that, it's awesome that you can take a situation and just turn it into something powerful and and, and good. Yeah. So, of course. Yeah. There were some people uh, a couple of years ago that called me the, the death leopard drummer of death metal. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So, in case you care. The music band, the the metal band that got me going was Megadeth. They're my all time favorite. Uh, I like them well, very much as well. Yeah, uh, and that and for me that goes way back into seventh grade, and that's a long time ago. So. Yeah. <laughs> what um? So where'd you guys record the album at? Yeah, so the, the whole thing is very. Um, Sheep, man. We done everything ourselves in um, uh, the uh, my Daniel's um, uh, up computer. Yeah, on Daniel's computer at home, you know. And we uh, mixed it and everything. In that and uh, we only sent uh, sent away the mixed uh, files uh, to uh, mastering. So mastering is the only thing we haven't done ourselves. Yeah. Yep. Well, that's cool because that. I mean, it make it must make it easier to not have to uh, book studio time and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. and much cheaper. We have our, we have our own studio studio now. Yeah. That's very cool. Yes. The one thing the one thing that it was you know was mentioned to me in one of the I don't know we chatting one day was not only you know we, you guys have this Skin Forge Records thing going on too. What's up with that? Yeah, you can tell it, Daddy. Uh, sure. <laughs> we, we, we want to release our CD by ourselves, so then we had to start our own record label. So we started Skinfors Records and mainly only to give out our own music. But since we started, some so, uh, quite some other bands had to send their demos to us and ask us to release their CDs as well. But right now we, we only release our own music. But maybe in the future we will release some other bands too. Well, so. that'd be cool. Well. If you guys get to a point where you're ready to do that, let me know, and, I, and I'll and i start letting bands know, other bands know. Yeah, yeah that would yeah. be cool. Yeah. 
because I, you know, I talk to a lot of bands that don't have labels, don't have anything, and they're always looking for that. So, uh, so. it's the same problem. The problem have been occurring for 30, 40 years. <laughs> right. But, and, uh, uh, but 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 I think it's a solution if you create your own one. Got a little knowledge or something, you can create your own label and try to force out your music. You know, it's. Uh, it's always some solutions. You don't need a big major labels to release music. You know, you you can do it yourself. It's a it's a yeah great experience. There will always be one fan or thousands of fans in the corner of the other side of the world. Exactly. <laughs> there will always be. It doesn't matter if you are big as Iron Maiden or Metallica. You can be. A garage band. There will always be fans around the world. It just depends on how much your own band want to uh, pay t- time on the um, promotion. keeping uh, contacts with the uh, uh, promot- promoting um, uh, companies and uh, get uh, signs, fan signs, to write about your radios. And uh, it is a lot of work, but. Uh, I think it's not impossible to succeed if you just keep the damn hell out that you really want to succeed with your band. Right, and just, I mean, look at how much the industry has changed and all the social networking you can do, and I mean, there's so many avenues to promote yourself now. Yeah, that's good. Internet uh, is uh, huge now, so you can, you can find anything and uh, almost do everything you want, you know. Right. Well, I mean, you know, because it wasn't for the internet, the internet, we would, I wouldn't even have found you guys. So <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So I'm very thankful you sent your music into the station. Yeah, yeah. we're glad you wanted. It's our pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. So, so speaking of the current album, where can uh, where can people buy the current album at? Oh, well, um, Amazon. I think in in Europe they can buy they have find it in some some internet CD stores, but worldwide I think it's uh, iTunes or Amazon. You can download it. Okay, excellent. Okay. So you can buy it in USA. I think you you can order it from our webpage if you want the CD, and uh, if you want to download it, you can do it at iTunes and Amazon and some other places. So. We we're probably gonna make it uh, available on uh, eBay too. So, so yeah. You guys have. Uh, oh. Do you guys have a favorite song to perform? Could you repeat that, please? Yeah. Do you guys have a favorite song to perform? Uh, that's different from uh, between all the members, I guess. Right, right. <laughs> but uh, the, the the favorite for me is uh, "Let It Drown" because it's uh, it's a really heavy song, and uh, I love the lyrics because I wrote them. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would say that uh, the last track on the album "Hate Anthem" yeah, it's my favorite track because it. Uh, it expresses that energy I want that song to express. You know, I got the lyrics and the music combined it will be a huge blast. I think it's a great energy kick. I think so. That's what I really enjoy. Yeah, I think I I say the last song as well. I like that. Uh, I don't know what to say because I'm the drummer. <laughs> I have <laughs> made every track. <laughs> I, I, I make some de- uh, changes uh, through the time, but uh, I think the Miracle for Sale is a fine song. But uh, I would like to agree with uh, Marcus here and uh, Lennart, of course, uh, and even uh, Benny. Yeah, uh, I like Hate Anthem and I like. Uh, what was the name? Let it drown. Let it drown. <laughs> so, uh, I think all the songs have uh, charm into their self. You really have to listen a couple of times through the album to uh, just figure out uh, the difference between the songs. Right, right. Uh, everyone has its uh, own little pearl. 
Yep. Well, my favorite two songs are Hate Anthem, so I can agree there. And I also like Worldwide Chaos. I love that track. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. every song is great. We have, we have, we have a really a strange track on the CD. I, I don't think you received it. If, if you only got three tracks, you haven't heard it, I think. It's called uh, Pain Feeds Their Hunger. And it's all a different... Uh, yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, it has kind of Arabic uh, intro. And it's a different... Uh, it's not trash. No, really, no, no. it's a different uh, song of the album. It's not comparable to the other songs. It's a little more mid-tempo, progressive song, I think. Would you would really like it, I guess. With some, yeah. uh, some effects. Uh, yeah, yeah, we sang it and you're here. So. Yeah, I look forward to it because it sounds like it's probably pretty killer. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> so how did you guys come up with this name for the band? How, how, who decided that? Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty, I think it's uh, probably my fault. Um, fault? I, uh, I, uh, you know, it's it's not not a special history about it. It's just like we didn't uh, want uh, overcharge uh, the name overcharged anymore, and I and I was thinking of something that uh, didn't exist, you know, already because it's boring to. Have the same name as all other ones, right? But uh, so I I just came up with you know nuclear salvation, and I searched on Google for if see if anyone got the name, and it was free, you know. Uh, so I, I think that's pretty much the story, and it sounds I think it sounds cool, you know. I, I like it. It's it's a it's a bit it's a bit of philosophy. It's a, it's a fresh metal name. <laughs> yeah, and there's a little bit of philosophy involved in it because I think uh, my personal thought is that the world gone too far and nuclear salvation is the last solution. <laughs> it's, it's a bit harsh, you know. <laughs> but you can you can typically imagine on your own when you're hearing nuclear salvation, the salvation is in the nuclear. There is money, it's politics, and blah, and blah, and blah. It's a it's, uh, typical uh, uh, tea, a theme for a thrash metal band to sing about. It's a typical... Uh, you can uh, listen to uh, thousands of thrash metal bands between 1985 to 1990. Uh, a lot of them were writing about bad politicians... Uh, uh, Bad economics, economics, and uh, <coughs> bad companies, and uh, nuclear war, and all this kind of stuff. So, I think uh, it's it's founding in that <laughs> the the band name, right? <laughs> A little bit. Yeah, I like it. What um? So, what do you guys do to relax when you're not practicing? What do, you, what do you guys like to do I to just to chill? I practicing all the time. I don't relax. <laughs> <laughs> I play. I actually play some football, soccer, soccer. soccer. What do you What do you call it there? Uh, and uh, football. 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 No, it's uh, twenty three hours of the day I spend on music, but one hour I play soccer. That's my day. Dang, you don't sleep. You're amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's always music. I have music when I sleep, but I don't sleep. I'm a, I'm a vampire. Uh, it's, it's like <laughs> too. He's a dog addict. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of sleepwalker. <laughs> no. Okay. His, his, okay. His, they answer. <laughs> the things he does in his personal life are not of my concern. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Um, oh, I don't know really what I do. I, I think I watch TV when I'm not playing guitar. So, and I'm and right now I'm, I'm unemployed as well. So I I mostly play, play guitar and watch TV all day and spend the time on the record label. Yeah. Are you doing for me again? What am I doing? I play the drums. It is my hobby. It is my life. <laughs> When I don't play the drums, I like to just sitting watching some TVs and, uh, of course, drinking beers at the weekends with my friends. 
Jo, det tror jag. Men inte jag, vet inte. Svara eller mer? Nej, du är inte så. Jag är som förra. Nej, jag vet inte. I'm working uh, most of the time, and when I get home, I play guitar, and uh, that's how my my day works. You know, uh, it's like a hamster wheel. Uh, it's, it's going around so all week long. So it's I, I got a quite boring life, but I like music, so it's I think it's a bit of fun anyway. You know, <laughs> we are regular people, <laughs> boring people. <laughs> <laughs> we like to live on the music in the future, so we, uh, we keep fighting for that. Right. I was going to say, unfortunately, the music business today uh, isn't isn't real um, lucrative. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> what? Uh, so, so if I was to um, if I was to grab your CD player or your MP3, however you listen to music, what kind of what what bands would I catch you guys listening to right now? Uh, yeah. I, um, I listen, um, uh, what should I say? Not to nuclear. No, uh, I, listen, I, I talk for myself, of course. Uh, I listen much on uh, new uh, or old fresh bands, try to some, find something, you know, new inspirations. And uh, I listen to a lot of music, not only, you know, uh, metal. I can listen to, uh, like, Pink Floyd or something. It's a... Uh, Great relaxing music uh, when you stress out. Uh, yeah, a lot of, but uh, that's just me. I love to search for uh, old trash metal bands that I was grown up with uh, to see them still playing to get today and uh, giving out new records. I I become like a little child. When I see the old uh, bands uh, putting out new records, uh, otherwise I like to listen to all the new uh, young trash metal bands who has the inspiration from the old bands, but have uh, done it with uh, the modern technique and the modern sound and uh, make it sound even tighter and uh, even better. Uh, of course, I still like old uh, Judas Priest, Saxon and uh, Iron Maiden songs, but uh, mostly it is uh, metal. I was just listening to Saxon in my car today. Say so what? What did you say? I was just listening to Saxon in my car today. Yeah, oh. Saxon. Yeah, you listen to Saxon today, or what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it's incredible. They still play, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a quite inspiring to see just uh, see the, those old bands who have been along for how how long as hell, you know, four to fifty years, and they still play. That's that's really inspiring. That's that's yeah. yeah. Saxon is a good example. Of that look at Biff Byford. He's looking like he's 150 years old, <laughs> but he's still uh, rocking like a god. No. Yep. Yeah, like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the oldest guy in the band. <laughs> and I'm the youngest. <laughs> yeah, Andreas is 90. Yes. <laughs> uh, are we finished? Uh, With the uh, uh, musical... Now, Leonard, have you asked uh, yeah, I think Benny will be listening to Dead by April. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I said uh, earlier, I don't uh, listen to much trash music. Um, yeah, they are being angry at me right now. But <laughs> <laughs> I listen to a Swedish band called Evergrey. You, you don't heard of that? Uh, I have not, no. Uh, too bad for you. Yeah, like progressive metal and uh, death metal as Children of Bottom from Finland. And uh, yeah, power, death metal, stuff like that. Not any trash band. But I have come to listen to Slayer because they forced me to. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> that, that's a great thing that they're making you listen to Slayer. <laughs> yeah, and I, I like them. I must say, that's like a good old spec. What what did you say the name of that band was again? Evergrey. 
So ever gray or grayed? Gray. Okay. I'll, I'll check them out. No, ever gay. <laughs> Is that everybody? What? Did we catch everybody with that question? Yes. 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 All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what's Are the... there any more questions you want to answer at? Uh, what did you say? I was just going to say, what's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you guys at a show? nice cool thing uh, last gig we had uh, and we uh, we ended the concert with uh, playing you know the classic uh, Raining Blood song of Slayer uh-huh. and uh, it's not a crazy thing but it was uh, just a fun thing because we asked if someone in the audience could sing the lyrics for us you know and uh, we got someone from the audience to sing it with us so it was very fun to do that that would be cool yeah. It was fun because I could relax and drink some beers instead. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's we're not that crazy on stage. Yeah, we are. We are pretty crazy, you know. <laughs> Things blow up. <laughs> yeah, well, explosions are good, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. No pedal without explosions. <laughs> Is there anything yes. else you guys would like to tell the world? Now is your chance. All right. Start listen to trash metal at young age, so you don't, so, so you don't, so you don't have to listen to this uh, shitty metal for when you grow up. Uh, there are so many people around the world today that has that has been forced to listen to all radio crap. The people do not have any chance today to start choosing on their own at a small age. When I was a little guy, I chose on my own. Okay. But I would say, if you don't buy the Nuclear Salvation album, we're going to hunt down and drag it down. (laughs) And please, invite us to the U.S. It would be very nice to play here, I think. Yeah. Yeah. We would love to come play in U.S. Yeah. Well, I, I hope you do, because that would be definitely cool. Yeah. I, I was in the U.S. and promoting the album uh, in uh, May, and uh, people seem to like it. Where, so I where, hope we come to U.S. and play someday. Where where were you at? What town? Minneapolis and St. Paul and Duluth. How, okay, I have to ask, how out of all the places did you end up in Minnesota? <laughs> uh, Actually, I don't know. Uh, we were just picking some places, and uh, yeah, I just went there. What's wrong? What's wrong what, with what's, Yeah, what was wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with Min- I don't want anybody that lives in Minnesota to be mad because Minnesota's cool and all. But yeah, I just figured you would have picked some place like California or yeah. Florida. You know, someplace warm at least. We pick that next time, man. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, you could... I, I live in Michigan. You could come to Michigan. I mean, come on. Yeah. We, we, when the next album is released, we come to Michigan. Yeah. Okay. I think it's also the next album will be more powerful and aggressive, so it's going to be a blast. So um, we let you know when it uh, come out and everything, so you have to hear it. Well, I look forward to it, and obviously, uh, I can tell you, I will be, wa- I'll be watching. So, yeah, yeah, sounds I, good. I have an old favorite band from you. It's called Thought Industry. Have you heard them? Are they from Kalamazoo or something in Michigan, or was it Illinois? I'm not sure. I've never heard of them. Thought Industry. Yes, correct. <laughs> what? You you want a dog? You can have him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can you send him with, uh, via internet? <laughs> I give you an album and you give me the dog. <laughs> and an autograph, maybe. From the dog. <laughs> you, your paw print, his paw print, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. But I think you have a town called Kalamazoo, not so far from Michigan. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to, I don't, that name of town doesn't sound familiar, so. 
Have you ever left Michigan? <laughs> oh my God! You're like my friends I work with. <laughs> They're like you're you're untraveled. I have yeah, left yeah. Michigan a little bit, yes. You should come to Sweden then, you, because your re- relatives lives here. I know. Maybe I am your relative. Yeah, then, then, then we can meet up and drink some beer. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good some to me. Beer. S- sounds good to me. Okay, one last thing to ask you guys: if I can okay. get a couple of radio tags made. Say what? If you can do a couple shout outs for me. Okay. Shout outs. You mean we we just scream? Or? Okay. I'll, here's what I need. Here's what I like you to say. I'll, I'll kind of script it for you. If you could say, you know, this is Nuclear Salvation, and you're listening to DJ Rem at MetalheadRadio.com, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm finished. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't remember the name of the station. Can you? Metalhead Radio. Metalhead Radio. Yep. Can, can you write it down so we remember the whole? <laughs> Yeah, but we, we are in Nuclear Salvation, you listen to the ERM at Metalhead Radio. I mean, do we do that? That's okay, I'm doing it. But you can say it. <laughs> okay. you're, we are Nuclear Salvation, um, listen to, you're listening to Metalhead Radio. We are the Nuclear ERM. Salvation, and, we are, and you are listening to, to Metalhead. DJ Ram. Me- DJ Metalhead Radio. DJ Ham. DJ Ham. Ram. DJ Ham. What's the call? Oh, no. Okay. We are, we are struggling here. Uh... <laughs> It's all good, guys. It's all good. Um, but could you please uh, write it down and uh, email it? No, <laughs> no. Just type it in on Skype and we say. It. Okay, I'll type. I'll type it in. Type it. Thanks. What is it? What? All right, there it is. Me, What? Okay, we are in conservation. DJ Ram? Ram. Ram or Ram? DJ Ram. Yep, Ram. Okay, we are nuclear salvation. Should we say it in choir? Yeah, everybody do it together. (laughs) All right. Synchronize people. One, two, three. DJ Ram. 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 Awesome, guys. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now we need to do it one more time, but just say Nuclear Salvation and you're listening to MetalheadRadio.com. Okay. That one I send to all the DJs. Yep. Yeah. So, okay. Nuclear Salvation and you're listening to MetalheadRadio.com. That's awesome. We said different stuff, I guess. Oh, it's all good. The more okay. different, the different, the more different, the better. Yeah, all right. <laughs> cool. Uh, okay. What, what? One more thing, then. You know, I'm going to keep asking here. Okay. The DJ Rem one again. Could you do that? Could you do it in in Swedish? Oh. Oh yeah, of course. That'd be much better. That'd be easier. Super, yeah. <laughs> we are nuclear salvation. We are listening to DJ Rem. Aha. From we are nuclear salvation. We are listening. Vi är ju Det var så awesome. Thanks guys. Yeah. Okay, well, I want to thank you guys for taking the time uh to, to chat with me and hang out. Appreciate it a bunch. Thank yeah. you. It's Thank our you. pleasure. No our pleasure. Our pleasure. Yeah. Okay, well, I will look forward to um, some more songs coming my way. Yeah, of course. I can send them 
to uh, send them to your email uh, tomorrow. Yep. Okay. So. Very good. Appreciate that. Yeah. So nice talking to you. Yes. Yeah. Very much with you guys too. Okay. You guys have a great day. Yeah. What? 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 <laughs> what? Say what? <laughs> I, I'm all done. I got nothing else. Yeah, right. bye. Okay. Yeah. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. Yeah, yep. take care, guys. Thank you for caring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll spread the word. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Peace. Have a blast. Take care. Bye bye.